Welcome to Chorus Stories. Are you ready to meditate with Cory? Hi friends, make sure that you subscribe and you like this video and also press the bell because the bell will let you know when a new video comes out. If you love Heidi, Cherry and Vea, make sure that you go to the link below and you join the patron group. Then you'll be part of the cat club and you'll get three exclusive stories every month for just $7 a month. I hope you enjoy the meditation. I love you. Bye. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're all comfortable and snug as a bug in your bed. The lights are just right. And you can relax your body and let go of your busy day. Heidi, Cherry and Vea had been shopping at the mall. They'd been looking for different pajamas. They'd also gone in one of the stores that had creams and potions and lotions and nail polishes and all of that fun stuff. They were about to leave the mall when Vea spotted a photo booth. Oh my, we should get our photos took, said Vea. Heidi said, it's been a really long time since we had a, like, a photo of all three of us together. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Cherry said, uh, oh, no. OMG, I'm kind of begrazzled and frazzled and I don't look that great today. I don't know whether it's a good idea because, you know, I woke up this morning and my eyes were a little bit puffy and I was like, oh my gosh, my eyes are so puffy. What on earth has happened to me in the night? Then I remembered, right, I was having this dream. I was having a dream about being underwater and I was holding my breath and I was holding my breath for so long. But yeah, I couldn't get out of the water. Like, you know, when you're trying to swim up to the surface and you can't and you're still under the water. And I'm like, how long am I going to be under the water? OMG, I can't breathe. Oh my goodness gracious me. And I was getting a bit panicky. And like, you know, when your eyes start popping when you're holding your breath so long and you start going red in the face and I was like that and I was like I'm gonna I'm gonna burst any moment now I'm gonna burst and then I woke up and I realized I got my face in my pillar <laughs> and I was like oh my gosh that was probably why I felt like I was underwater my face was gonna burst and I couldn't breathe <gasps> so funny I like when things are happening in real life how it kind of transfers into your dream doesn't it you know like sometimes I yeah you want to go to the toilet right when you're dreaming and you're like oh I really need to go to the toilet I gotta pee so bad <gasps> I'm gonna pee my pants and then all of a sudden in your dream you're sat on a toilet and you're like oh thank goodness for that the relief. And then you almost pee your pants because in your dream you think you're on the toilet, but then in real life you're not on the toilet. You're in your dream and you're dreaming and you could possibly pee your pants at any second. Heidi said, I think everyone's had one of those dreams. Cherry said, yeah, I know. Well, that's what I mean. I was dreaming that I couldn't breathe right and I couldn't actually breathe because my face was in my pillow. Silly me. Anyway, my point is I've got puffy eyes right and I'm not looking my best. Vea said, mm, me thinks you look lovely. And that's all it really took because Cherry was like, oh, all right then, okay. They walked over to the photo booth. They sat inside, pulled the curtain closed, put the money in. The instructions on the front said it was going to take six photos of them in total. They talked about it and they decided to do six different poses. A smiley one, a funny face one, a kissy face one, a peace one, all, all different, different photos basically. The first one flashed and it caught them by surprise. So the first photo was a surprise photo and they all laughed and the second one was like all of them crying, laughing because the first one was going to be super funny. The second one 
was like a crying laughing photo because it caught them again. Then they paused and got really still and thought, okay, quick. And they pulled the smiley face. The sensible smiley face, you know. And then they pulled a kissy face. And then they pulled peace signs. And then they couldn't remember how many they took. And the last one caught them kind of going, eh, with that kind of face, which was really funny also. And then something very, very strange happened. The cats went to get off the chair. And they couldn't. They couldn't get off the chair in the photo booth. Cherry said, I don't remember this chair being this high. Why is this chair like 15 million feet off the ground? I can't get down. Vea opened her eyes really big and looked around the photo booth. The photo booth had gone from being a normal sized photo booth to like the size of a giant, giant room that looked just like the photo booth. Vea said, Why is it so big in here? Heidi said, wait a minute, something's not right. And she blinked and blinked and blinked like three times. She rubbed the front of her glasses and then put her glasses back on, upside down of course, because that's how she wears them, and blinked again and looked around and the space had not changed. It was an enormous photo booth and they were miles from the ground. Cherry said, OMG, OMG. Oh, oh no. I'm going to panic. I'm going to panic right. I'm going to lose it. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh my gosh, it's just brought my dream back. I can't breathe. My eyes are going to pop open. My eyes are going to fall out and roll on the floor and they're miles away. Have you seen how far away that floor is? It's so far away. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to panic. Oh, I can feel a panic attack coming on. Heidi said, just calm down. Calm down. Everything's okay. We're going to be all right. Things just look a little bit different for some reason. They look a little bit different. I'm like, I'm like two inches big. What happened? There was something about that photo booth that was taking photos. And when it was taking photos, we were shrinking. <gasps> we shrank. Oh, OMG. Oh, no. It's like, it's like Alice in Wonderland. When she eats that cookie and she gets really, really small. I didn't eat any cookies this morning. I only had pancakes. <gasps> oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, I'm going to be, oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, I feel really stressed and, oh my gosh. Heidi said, seriously, Cherry, take a breath, calm down. Obviously, something weird is happening because we shrank to two inches tall. Faya said, Oh, I know this is a silly thing to say, but we're so cute. Cherry said, Oh, there you are. Timing. I mean, yeah, we're cute. Of course we're cute. We're always cute. Even when I've got puffy eyes, I'm cute. But there you are. Timing. What if we keep shrinking and we get even smaller? How are we supposed to get out of this photo booth? What are we going to do? OMG. I'm going to be this small forever. Two inch cat. Who's going to kneel? People are going to stand on us. We're so small. I'm so small. I'm going to get stood on like a crumb. I'm a crumb on the kitchen floor. This is the end of me. I'm supposed to be so fantastic. I'm awesome. I am. I was going to be a doctor. I was going to be a lawyer. And we're going to be a, one of them people that fly out of aeroplanes all the time. What they called? Skydiver. <gasps> and we're going to be a skydiver. <laughs> we're going to be a skydiver if I'm this small. And two inches small. Oh, you know what though? I just had this really cool thought. If I'm two inches small, maybe we can get through like keels and we can like sneak into places. No, 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 no. I'm not ready for that yet. I need to panic some more. Heidi said, stop panicking. Calm down. Something is obviously amiss right now. Let's think about this. The camera flashed six times. In that time, we somehow shrank to two inches tall. This chair is absolutely enormous 
and there is no way we're going to get off this chair, ever in a million years. We could shimmy down, said Cherry. <gasps> I could skydive. Oh, no. They don't make parachutes small enough. Oh, this is awful. This is just awful. How am I supposed to be a skydiver? A famous skydiver when I grow up with a two-inch parachute. They're not going to make a parachute that's got straps small enough for a cat that's two inches. <gasps> Vaya said, it's okay, Cherry. Don't worry, because you could probably still be a doctor or a lawyer. They don't need to be that big. Yeah, 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 good point, good point. <gasps> no, not good point. All, all the books I need to read will be an absolutely enormous. All the books are so big, I'm going to have to sit on a book. <laughs> Heidi said, there is such things as audiobooks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then, okay, I'll chill out about that. But still, this is absolutely scary. So scary. I'm so scared right now. I can feel my paws. <gasps> my, like, centimetre big paws are shaking. But they are so cute. They're so cute. Look how tiny and cute we are. We're so cute, but still, I don't like it. <sighs> Cherry didn't know whether to cry or laugh. She was in a state of panic, obviously. And when you get yourself in a state of panic, sometimes you can't think straight. Heidi was right. She really did need to calm herself down. Vea, being Vea, was looking at everything from a very positive perspective. She's always so cute and sweet and positive like that. Heidi, in the meantime, of all of this drama was trying to figure out, scientifically, like book smart, what on earth had just happened. She couldn't think of anything. Only that, maybe, the flash from the photo booth had somehow got some kind of weird transformative properties that when it shone on them, it, like, biologically transformed their DNAs and made them shrink really tiny. Heidi had been reading a book about DNA and like transformations and all sorts of stuff lately. She'd been getting very scientific. Thank goodness because at least she was thinking about these things. Cherry was just sat down breathing, trying to breathe very deeply. <gasps> get that much hair in when you're only two inches small. I was going to say two inches tall, but how can you be two inches tall? Tall is kind of the wrong word. Two inches small, more like it. <sighs> Heidi said, okay, maybe there's something in the light that blinded us and it's making us see this whole space completely differently. Like it transformed the way that we're seeing the space. Maybe we're not two inches tall. Maybe we're actually still the same size and we'd never actually changed. And the, the room changed. We didn't change. The space around us changed. What if it's that? Cherry said, OMG, Heidi, how on earth, while we were taking us photos, were we not supposed to notice some men coming along and putting us in a completely different room and us not even feeling being put in a completely different room. That doesn't make any sense. How is that even possible? It's not. That's a ridiculous idea, Heidi said. Do you have another idea? Cherry said, OMG, Heidi, of course not. <laughs> you keep going. You keep going with your ideas. But anyway, yeah, no, it was quite a good idea, but not... Well, I don't know. Because, I mean, I think I would have seen people around me. Even though I were doing my bestest, bestest, like, kissy face, you know? You have to really focus when you're doing your kissy, pouchy, fish fish kiss face. Because 
there's so many of them on Instagram and I like to compare myself, you know, even though you're not supposed to compare yourself because comparing yourself is like the worst thing you can do in the world. But, you know, sometimes you have to go, is my kissy face better than other people's kissy faces? Because I see kissy face poses on Instagram or on like all, you know, social media. And I know social media is not that good. And I know we're not supposed to go on social media, but sometimes you do get to see a little bit of social media. And when you do see social media, you see everybody like, like posing with the kissy faces, with the fishy faces. And you think, did they swallow something like a lemon? And that's why they're pulling that funny face. So one time, right, I tried it. I know this is getting sidetracked. But I sucked on a lemon and I pulled this weird, weird face. And at the same time, I got my timer on my camera. And I took a picture, right, of me pulling this weird, weird face, this lemon face. And and it looked so good, guys. I was like, OMG, this is what they do. They all suck on lemons before they take the pictures. <laughs> but then that would be really funny. Can you imagine if you were like watching everybody taking like kissy face pictures and everyone has to carry a bit of lemon around with you? <laughs> when you're out with your friends, just a minute, I need to suck on my lemon. <laughs> and then they suck on a piece of lemon. And then they have the bestest kissy face of all the, group, all the group. And then everybody looks at the photo and they're like, how come your kissy face is so good? And you say, oh, well, it's because I suck on lemon. <laughs> I heard it right from this really famous cat. That's me, Cherry. Cherry, Cherry, right. She's so famous on, on social media. That's me, like, in 10 years' time, right? I'm going to be so famous. I'm going to be, like, tiki talky famous and everything. Not that it matters because, I mean, social media is so poisonous, right? But still, don't mean you can't be famous on there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so, right, I'm going to be so famous. And then, and then, and they're going to be, like, all these, all these people all over the world all say, yeah, that's the cherry technique. And the cherry technique is sucking on lemons. That's my, that's my claim to fame. Because now I'm two inches tall. I'm not going to get any more famous. I'm not gonna... Mind you, I could get really famous. Be like a two inch tall cat that sucks on lemons. <laughs> Gosh, I think I'm delirious. I don't know whether I'm going to cry. Or whether I'm going to be really happy about this. I'm not sure yet. It's not quite sunk in what I feel. I don't know how I feel. Heidi said, if you just stop talking for a second and you take another breath, that would be awesome. While I think about what's actually going on here. Right then, the curtain opened to the photo booth and two girls were standing outside. Are you guys done in here? said one of the girls. She said it as if she was just talking to three cats. Three very normal looking cats. Not two inch cats. Normal looking cats, because if they were two inch cats, she'd have pulled the curtain back and freaked out. She would have screamed and said, OMG, these cats are so cute. And she'd have said, Where's my camera? Let me take a picture. Let me put it on my tiki talkie Or maybe she wouldn't have done that, depending on her age. But still, she would have said or had some kind of really big reaction if the cats were only two inches tall. Or maybe even worse, the girls wouldn't have even seen the cats and they'd have just squished them and sat on them. Luckily, she didn't act like that at all. And that didn't happen. She just said, are you guys done in here? Heidi, Cherry and Vea all looked at each other and said, uh, yeah. Okay, good, because me and my friends have been waiting outside for like five minutes and we noticed that there weren't any flashes anymore. So we thought, maybe you're just hanging out in here or something, which is okay and all, but you know, maybe not okay because there's people waiting. Heidi said, Oh, um, yeah, sorry about that. We were trying to figure out something. The cats jumped down off the seat really easily, that was like now a normal seat, and walked outside and stood outside the photo booth, waiting for their photos. The girls went inside the photo booth and closed the curtain. The cats just stood there staring at each other, for a minute, they forgot they were even waiting for the photos, but then it registered. 
and Heidi said, well, let's see what the photos are like at least. Maybe on the photos you can see us getting smaller. Cherry said, OMG, Heidi, did we even get smaller? Bea said, oh my, this is very interesting. I'm very interested in what our photos look like. A couple of minutes later, the photos popped down out of the machine. There was a very surprised face for the first one, which was hilarious. Then there was them, the three cats, crying, laughing face, which was even more hilarious. Then they had the kissy face, and then they had the peace sign face. And then they had another surprise face, and then they had like a, oh, are we done face on the last one. And the cats were the normal size on the pictures. They hadn't shrunk one tiny little bit. Heidi said, that was just the weirdest experience I have ever had. Did I just have that experience alone or did you two have it too? Jerry said, no, I was right there with you. That was very, 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 very at the top of my list. Weird. Bea said, oh yes, that was very interesting. At least we've got, like, a very good story to tell our friends. OMG, yeah! I could post that on my social media. I get really famous for being a two-inch cat for, like, three minutes. <gasps> oh, was I? Da, da, da. The end.